The Houston Police Record Management System is slowing down the investigation into a quarter million suspended police reports. Now that according to Police Chief Troy Fenner. Our Liliana Pearson joining us now live from HPD headquarters. And Liliana, why is this system really a detriment to the investigation? Well, they're telling me it's because they're trying to solve a problem that's happening today with a system that is 10 years old. And as many of us know, in the digital age, technology can become outdated incredibly fast. I'm told it's slow, clunky, just not as refined as they want it to be. But there is some good news on the horizon. The current record management system, or RMS, was implemented in 2014, and it is not up to current standards. It's outdated. And it limited us, us and it makes takes more time when we're trying to do and search and, and, and find out different things. Bogged down, slow, and extremely strict on what can and cannot be looked up. It's slowing down what is already expected to be a months long investigation. Not only that, Finner says the lack of personnel code they've promised to never use again cannot be removed from the system. People ask about the code. Why was the code not removed? It's hardwired to that system. And if we try to remove that code, then our system crashes. On X, Finner admitted the code is still showing up on some new reports, but a policy is in place to halt its use. A new record management system is coming next year. Late last year, the Houston City Council approved $31 million to invest in a new upgraded system. Ken Neely is the Houston Police Union Vice President, but also works on the investigation side of the department. He says the new system is much anticipated. It's a system that used by all 5,000 officers of the Houston Police Department. It also integrated that uh, people with the district attorney's office there were to access those reports as well. The new system, owned by a company called Versatum Public Safety Inc., should be operational in the spring of 2025. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.